Hey everyone, I just thought I'd stop and take a moment to show everyone something we're developing at uh, Hobbyworks.com. This, or these, are parts of an ionic blaster. That's someone going by very fast in their car. Anyways, here's the end of the rifle, here's the beginning of the rifle. I've got two different versions here, or not different versions, just two different prints. This is about one-eighth scale. It's one seven point, I'm just going to call it one-eighth. Anyways, uh, the final version uh, will be varying scales, one of which will be one-to-one -one scale, which is why these uh, rifle, the uh, pistol grip of the rifle, is slightly overdeveloped. So let's go through this. We have the barrel here, and it's got a couple of sights on the end. It's open at the end. Currently, this scale is designed to work with if you so desire, a two millimeter LED, and that just can pop in there. And uh, there is a recess in here for it to kind of sit in. So you can see it pops right into the bottom there and sticks pretty well. So there we go. Uh, the other end of this has a little bit of a lip, and that is so it can fit into this part of the rifle. And there is a lip on the inside, just in case, of this part, just in case. So, just pop that in there, and uh, make sure that sight's nice and straight. There's a part that goes on right there, that is this little piece, and that just sits in the recess, and you put a little super glue in that. And this is what that looks like. So let's just do this again, reassemble it, move the site so it's perpendicular to this. And there we go. Here is another part of the barrel. Currently, I'm trying to decide whether I want this to be open or for you to have a little bit of a lip back there. This goes into that like this. It is a little wiggly. I left a little room uh, for some adhesive because this is quite a uh, this is a stress joint. In fact, I might make this longer. I might make that probably twice as long, so it kicks into here just for more stability. But that's loose, so you can get a bunch of super glue or epoxy or whatever you're using in there to make this as stable as it can be. We are missing a piece. There should be a canister down here. I don't have that built yet, but I will. On the one-to-one -one version, that canister will house a battery. I'll put a, the end will pop off and I'll put recesses for uh, magnets. So you can put magnets in the, it's just gonna kinda look like this. So you'll be able to put magnets in the bottom and pop it back on there, if you so desire. So that's that. Then we have the butt of the rifle, which just slides on like that. So that's the majority of the rifle. And then we have the handle. For some reason, at this scale, this 1 8 scale, this handle has been giving me issues. At the 1 5th scale, I was printing it earlier, it just slid on smooth, but it's been giving me a couple of problems. That's how that goes. You can see the uh, nice pistol grip on the rifle. Goes like that. And uh, there is a trigger right here. This trigger has a little hole in the back of it for this pin. And that pin on the handle on the inside will go through this hole right here. So it'll go like that. And then it will attach into this. You can just glue on the uh, the trigger like that. But I wanted to make it so that you could, uh, if you felt like it, and you don't have to use this pin, you could use just a, a normal pin like uh, 
See if I can grab this out of my giant pile of pins that have somehow magnetized themselves to each other. You could use something like this, a longer one, and just uh, put that in here. I can even find where that pesky little hole went. There we go. You put that in there and bring it back as far as you want and attach a little spring in there so you could have a functioning um, trigger at these smaller scales. That's what kind of the design thought was. Um, for the one-to-one -one scale, the reason that that trigger is there, that this uh, little, what I'm calling a trigger pin, it's not, but is because this little platform here is for a momentary switch. So when you push the, uh, the trigger in on the pin, the pin will hit the momentary switch and you'll be able to light it up. That's also why there's a bit of a recess in here for your wiring to go up through here. I'm still de uh, developing this piece. This piece is missing some details besides the uh, battery compartment. Um, there should be some recesses in here and those will actually act as mounting points or for I guess vents for a speaker. So you could put a speaker back in here. At this smaller scale how I would rig this up if I wanted to light it, uh, I wouldn't even bother with the trigger. That uh, That's beyond my skill. But if you guys want to actually wire the trigger up, more power to you. I suppose you could do it with that metal thing. Uh, the metal rod or little metal pin I was showing you. Have another metal connector back here. Put the pin in there. And when you kick the trigger back, it hits that pin and it forms a connection. But since I'm a simple guy, what I would do wire the LED into here, bring it back here, put a little basic uh, connector point here, have your other connector point on here, battery in between, and just when you put the butt of the rifle on, it lights up the gun. Or, I mean, if you wanted this on here without it lit, just put something in between there, like a little bit of electrical tape, and then put the uh, butt back on the rifle, like so. I might extend that, actually, I'm just thinking about that. It, it holds on pretty good, but I might extend this a little bit and make this a little bit more recessed so it's more stable. It's designed on the uh, on the one-to-one -one version. This is just designed to be adhes adhesive, glued, stuck, not move, right on here. And, um, again, you would access the battery through the clip instead of right back here. What I'm going to do right now is I'm going to get some paint on one of these and assemble it just to show you what it looks like all together. So I'll be right back with that. All right, so this is what the rifle looks like painted all together. Added a little bit of weathering to it. Some scratches, some dings. Such. All right, when you put this together, you got to be really careful. You see the... Uh, straight edges here and this is off a little bit I was holding it like this and I was checking the angles and I was about to turn it to get it square you can see this isn't quite square and the uh, the glue went off and it is stuck for life now I would have to break this to get it apart but there's what it looks like together uh, the trigger is in there I just actually did take a little pin and just pinned it in there and glued it in place so yeah Little, little bit overzealous with the uh, dry brushing, but uh, I think it looks pretty good. I did put an LED in the end, and I don't have any of the super small batteries currently, so we'll have to uh, see what this looks like with a, uh, a larger coin battery. I don't have any of the, the small ones that would work in there. This one's a little too big. So we'll just do this for now. As you can see that lights up very well. I think that looks pretty cool. And the uh, full size version, again this will be a momentary switch so you can uh, hit the switch and you know fire the gun. But that is it. Now I have to uh, stick these back in here. Mess with the 3D file a little bit. 
got a few things to do. I've done a few things, got a few more things to do. I have extended, I've enlarged, slightly enlarged this at the end, and I've extended it about that far, so it'll provide a more stable connection there. So now it goes all the way back to, to the end of this. So when you put this together, you won't have to worry about this snapping right here. Uh, I'm currently, right now, actually, uh, fixing this. You can see that's a nice delineated uh, embossed part right there, and it kind of loses cohesion over here, so it's a little wobbly, so I have to fix that. I am also going to be adding the clip down here, or the battery holder, and adding these in here, the little, the little kind of round or kind of squarey round beveled little uh, sections that kick in here. So I'll be making, uh, making the inside here a little bit smaller. There won't be as much room, but again, imagine this is full size. There'll be plenty of room. It's just going to be two sections that kick in a little bit. You should have plenty of room for your wires and speaker and anything you want to put in there. So that is the development diary on the rifle, the Ionic Blaster, currently. I will hopefully be updating this when I get it done. Of course, it's not going to stand because it's wonky. But I'll be uh, updating this when I get it done, and we'll put another video here, and I will be uh, building a full-scale one. Put that on my YouTube channel. I'll put that on the Hobbyworks YouTube channel. So, that's it for this dev diary. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will catch you next time. Until then, take care.